H-A-M-M-O-N-D, and I'm a farmer rancher on the route, and um, I want to start by saying that I have two miles of natural gas pipelines across our land at Curtis, and from first-hand experience, I can tell you that the land is never the same after it's disrupted like this. And uh, also, I'm the father of 51 over here. So, so uh, Trans, Trans America, you know, why is it called Trans Canada if they want to cut a trench clear across the heartland of America? They, they tell us that it's good for us, but in truth, it's only good for the profits of big oil. <clears throat> make, make no mistake, this project is for human greed. What we get is all the risk. Large companies like TransCanada are perverting our political process. I am embarrassed and ashamed of a system that allows legalized bribery in the form of unlimited campaign contributions to influence our decision makers. Shame on Lee Terry for taking 290000 from, from oil concerns and pretending it has no effect. This project risks our water and the air of the world for short-sighted greed. I was threatened with eminent domain three times three years ago. U.S. eminent domain laws are to protect U.S. public interests, not to help Canadian companies destroy their natural resources and profit from selling them on the global market. The scar they want to make will not just be on our land, but on the conscience of all of us. I implore you, do the right thing and stop this insane project. The world is watching and waiting for our leadership. Thank you. Thank you.